Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at some leak stuff coming to Prodigy along with talking about a few updates. So let's get into the video. Alright, so there really isn't that many leaks to look at, but let's go ahead and look at the ones that were added. Alright, so first off, the HUD, which is called the Heads Up Display, which I believe is going to be replacing this down here. Um, a few images were added for that. So this is the first one and it's called HUD House Exit. So that would be replacing this down here if this does end up being a replacement for these icons. Now there's also a HUD House Info, which I believe only shows when you're in another person's house. I could be wrong on that, but um, this is what that icon would look like. Now we also have the HUD House Locked which is, of course, this one when it's locked. And then there is also the HUD House Unlocked, which is the house when it's unlocked. So those were really about all the leaks that were added. We do have a few other things from last week that I believe are updates. I haven't gone and checked them out though. So there was a spine NPC cauldron slime worker spine added yesterday. So I think this is probably in Bonfire Spire after you beat Sevelini, I'd assume. Like, this is maybe the new worker or something. I don't really know. But there was also a spine for Sevelini added. Um, this isn't, like, anything new for Sevelini before. It had just been an atlas for it. But now a spine for it was added. Um, although nothing looks new about Sevelini, it's still pixelated. Those last two things were uh, added last week. But this was updated on Monday, so this is called UI Replay Campaign. You've probably seen this image before, and um, it was updated the other day. The update wasn't very interesting, and, and this is what it looks like now. So all they did was add the time twister in it. Um, I don't know what this UI Replay Campaign is going to be used for, but it is interesting that we did get the time twister added into the UI. Now another thing that happened on Monday that has to do with hard mode is that apparently now instead of having to have 10 pets over level 90 in order to go into hard mode, you should now only need one pet over level 90 to go into hard mode, which will make it so that if you've already beaten the Puppet Master, you should be able to get into hard mode a lot faster. Um, also last week, there were a couple of new names added, so the name Tara, spelled T-A-R-A, -A, Tegan, Sally, and Andy were added. I don't know how Sally and Andy hadn't been in the game before. I feel like those are sort of common names, but they were added just last week. Also, Gloom Drake's Cloak, which is um, an outfit. Its name was slightly updated. It now has a po an apostrophe before the S. Not really anything too interesting. And then finally, there are a few metadata updates from today. So the physical dragonling is now called the physical wyvernling. I don't know what a wyvernling is supposed to be, but that's what its name was updated to. And then um, its flavor text was updated to say, Though they lack arms, they're very strong and love nothing more than caring about the heaviest rocks they can find in their talons. So, before it didn't say in their talons. And then the physical dragon's affinity, which is like the element that it's associated with, it was changed from astral to physical. I don't know why it was astral before. It makes a lot more sense for it to be physical. And then also the astral dragon's affinity was updated from physical to astral. So I guess they probably just got the astral and physical dragon's affinity mixed up. And then the final thing, the Shadow Dragonling was changed to be called the Shadow Chickatrice, which is kind of an odd name. But those are really all of the updates that have happened over the past two weeks. Um, it's kind of been slow at Prodigy after Hard Mode came out. I assume that's probably because Prodigy was on vacation last week, I would guess. But um, I, I really hope that we get some stuff next week. I kind of think we will because I went back and looked and apparently there wasn't anything actually added into 
where there weren't any big leaks for Dragon Isle until about July the 16th, which will be on a Wednesday, which is when Prodigy normally updates their CDN for like big leaks. So we could be seeing some Dragon Isle stuff next week that would indicate Dragon Isle Part 2. We could also be seeing some Treasure Track leaks since I don't think that we have actually seen anything about um, our August Treasure Track. And the current Treasure Track is going to end pretty soon. We could also see some Starlight Festival leaks or maybe even a Hard Mode leak. But yeah, that's going to go ahead and end the video. If you didn't notice, I actually got my account back. I think I probably got it back on like July 1st. Um, I had been locked out of it for like the past three months, so it's really nice to have it back. I might make a short about it because there is something pretty interesting that actually happened while my account was, where I was sort of like soft locked out of my account. But yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and bye.